What's going on guys? Moises Faz, Faz Power Washing LLC. How's it going everybody? Hope everybody's having a good day. Today is Saturday, September 17th. We're out here doing heavy equipment washing. Wanted to make a quick, just a quick video. I've uh, been getting quite a bit of uh, questions for heavy equipment washing. A lot of guys have been wanting to you know, start fleet washing, heavy equipment washing, uh, construction equipment washing. So, just wanted to make a quick video, couple, couple pointers, couple tips here and there, and uh, we'll get started. So, one of the questions that I do get asked is, what kind of chemicals uh, do you use for washing heavy equipment? So, so for these heavy equipment pieces that we do on a regular basis, we actually don't use any soap we don't use no soap at all um one because well the company doesn't really care for using soap on their equipment um it gets trashed it, it's in a dump site it's not gonna always look pretty vibrant um so they're really not worried too much on on how much soap or if we use any soap at all uh that's one thing and then uh another thing is really you, you don't need soap so many chemicals so much to fly on my camera there's flies everywhere in the dome you don't need a lot of chemicals to wash uh, pieces of equipment like this really um, what you what you would need which leads to my next pointer is just a good uh, degreaser if that for any of the fittings that these pieces of equipment have and that's one thing that mechanics do look for when they're you know servicing the equipment they want to make sure that the grease fitting is Whatever, wherever it's at it's clean it's accessible it's visible um, and that goes for pretty much the whole unit itself is you know you want to make sure that you're taking as much dirt trash whatever it is uh, material off of that piece of equipment so not too much not too much chemical there just a good degreaser um, in the beginning not in the beginning well uh, about I don't know few months back we we're using a hot water unit but the hot water unit um, it works it's awesome if you have a hot water unit of course you know you're gonna love it it's a good degreaser in itself because it's hot water of course uh, it does pick up the dirt a lot faster you know it it, uh, it breaks it down it back to its form which is mud so hot water does help uh, a lot with just the overall cleaning process of it so if you have hot water that's a plus for you if you don't cold water you know does good um with big chunks of course you know you just have to have a good zero tip so that's another tip is have a good zero tip uh make sure it's regulated for your machine make sure that it's it's in good condition um i know most of y'all should have a red tip and some of y'all might just want to stay away from it right but for washing heavy equipment, using that red tip is going to be your best friend when dealing with a lot of excess buildup on the heavy equipment. Um, usually behind the tires, on top of the axles and whatnot. So that red tip is going to be your best friend. Um, and when using these tips, so generally what we have, we have it on a, we actually ha have it on a Davis shooter tip, just two of them, which is a fan tip. I think it's like a. Uh, 40 degree if I'm not mistaken I think uh, high pressure tip and then we have a zero degree uh, that we just have on that on that uh, on that David shooter uh, holder so we switch back and forth and when you're when you're using these tips uh, generally when you're washing pieces of equipment and they have a lot of excess you're gonna get a lot of that blowback you're gonna get a lot of that just dirty stuff we're here in the, in the in the dump you know and we get a lot of it if you look at my shirt i'm you know i'm not so it's not too dirty but it's it's pretty dirty so with the tip with that is just depending on how you're positioned <clears throat> you want to angle yourself at, at a good position whenever you're hitting these uh pieces of equipment right here so you don't get a lot of that pretty much backfire from all the dirt all the material Actually, instead of showing my face, let me show you all the process. So we got Guillermo here. He's finishing it up. 
So right now he's hitting it <clears throat> with the zero tip from afar. He's getting all the heavy, pretty much heavy, heavy buildup that's in the center right here of this uh, dump truck. You get a lot of activity here. You have your hydraulics, you have all your joints, a lot of grease fittings. Um, it's a good spot for dirt to just build up after a while. Of course, on the inside of the rims too. So a lot of times we'll get a lot of dirt back here, a lot of build up just mounted up. So using the zero tip, hitting it from afar at a distance is gonna help you. Pretty much. What's up? Yeah, it's low. Or like the what is that thing called? The shocks. The shocks. It might be blown out. Yeah, no, that's supposed to be higher. Oh, okay. That's all right. Damn, that right that it's a good thing we're not mechanics. That's just heavy. We need a we need we need that crane that that dude had. Pretty good. Just rinse out. Just rinse off that other side. Everything you blow that way. No. Say what's up to YouTube. So yeah, back to the video. Um, <clears throat> some of these pieces of equipment, they, like I said, they get they get ran pretty hard depending on where the piece of equipment is, what location, what company's using it, um, where the dump site. Like I said, it's yeah, these these things are just running constantly. They get beat up, they get banged up um, for the most part. So I bet some of y'all are probably asking, well, won't that zero tip leave a lot? like how he's, how he's hitting right now, won't it leave a lot of markings and whatnot? It can, it will. Uh, as far as markings, is, it's, it's gonna, you're gonna tell what's clean from the dirt. <clears throat> it's not gonna take up a lot of this paint, like it's not gonna take up any of this paint if you're hitting it from a good distance and you're not putting the zero tip straight to the paint. Um, with these pieces of equipment, this paint is actually, I mean, it's it's a good, they do a good job of coating this piece of equipment really good with this paint. Of course, you can see some chipping here, but this is like, this is just over time, you know, chipping, of course, the decal. So, you want to be thorough with your, with your zero tip cleaning. Um, think of the zero tip as you're just chopping up all the heavy stuff, you're chopping it down, and you're focusing on all the heavy stuff using the zero tip. <clears throat> now when you're done <clears throat> using all the heavy stuff, you can switch over to the fan tip and you make sure you know you get a good even pattern on all crevices and edges and whatnot. But the zero tip as well as you know it, it helps as a rinsing. Uh, it's got a lot of high flow, a lot a lot of uh, pressure you know that's able to move water in all directions. As long as you're consistent with your zero tip rinsing, you shouldn't have any issues, but you just also want to make sure, um, if you're not too sure about yourself and you're just getting started, you want to make sure at the end, just give it a good fan tip rinse. And you should be all right, you know? Um, always, always just be in communication, of course, with the contractor, whoever contracted you, um, about the, you know, the machinery and whatnot, what they want, what they expect. Expectations are, you know, should be brought up i believe at least that way uh everybody's on the same page and you know no one's kind of feeling bad about what kind of service was given so yeah i mean let me see let me think of something else um what's another tip let's see Well, just uh, having backups, you know, making sure you have extra hoses and whatnot, extra guns, of course, everybody knows that. Especially when you're out in a construction site, you know, and you're away from the shop or your home base. You wanna make sure you have backups for backups. Um, and also, just another thing that I, that, that I uh, wanna bring up is the water, as far as like where you're at, what kind of water you're getting, of course you want to 
asked these questions beforehand and asked if you're gonna get, you know, wherever you're at, if you're gonna have access to like a water source and, and what kind of water is gonna be coming out of that water source. So you're gonna have well water, you can have city water. Um, that's another thing to take in, into consideration. Most of these heavy equipment pieces, they're usually out in, in rural, rural areas. So most of the time you have like well water and, and well water is may some of y'all may know is over time it you know will mess up into your plungers, it'll get into your pumps, all those all those minerals. And overall, um, the cost of fixing a pump, depending on what equipment you have, it might be more than you know, than two two or three units that you're washing, depending on how you're pricing them. So just always ask what kind of water is is around uh if you have access to bringing your own water of course that's that helps we're running 275 we get through two units at that you know if if uh, they're not too dirty if they're real build up we're just using the whole 275 for one piece of equipment uh this one would have took at least half or maybe three quarters of that 275 so but yeah uh before i forget man Appreciate everybody watching, appreciate everybody subscribing, everybody that watches the channel, everybody that asks questions. Let me turn the camera. Everybody that asks questions, uh, appreciate y'all. Go ahead, like. <clears throat> if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Uh, I'm gonna be focused on trying to get, put out more content out there, so also ask questions. If y'all have more questions, uh, I like to help. My brothers like to help. Uh, so just drop them down on the comment section, man. So, like I said, like, subscribe, follow, share as well. And uh, if you want to say what's up, say what's up. I say what's up back. But I'll leave y'all to it. Appreciate y'all for watching. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.